Hi everybody, today I'm sharing with you some 30 minute what we eat in a week meals. These were all pretty fast, uh, more convenient, not using the oven very much. Um, out of the six meals I made, I used the oven one time. The others were in the Instant Pot and the slow cooker, in my electric skillet. So just things that can be done if you're a working mom too. But um, these are hopefully going to be helpful for you for this week or sometime in your future. If there is a meal or a recipe that I use of somebody else's, I'll put it in the description box. Otherwise, I'll try to walk you through what I made. So day one, I made a white chicken chili and this recipe was in my last homemaking video. And then we had just chips, salsa, and veggies on the side. So this white chicken chili is dairy free, the one I made. It doesn't have to be, you can still use the original recipe calls for sour cream and milk, but I substituted a can of coconut milk. Um, and I love that texture of having a can of co coconut milk in it. So of course, you saute the onions first. I think most of my recipes have onions in them because it's just such a good flavor. And I use the Dutch oven. Now, if you wanted to, you could I use your instant pot and use a saute setting if you wanted to do that or if you want to use it in a slow cooker that would be fine too. You can just have your um, onions sauteed on the stove on a skillet beforehand and put those in the slow cooker. So if you're a working mom and you want to or you're a busy mom like most of you are then you can put that um, to set on a slow cooker setting for like six to eight hours. But anyway, so I did that. I already had a whole chicken I had cooked and that's what makes it so convenient in 30 minutes or less. And I make my own chicken broth, so I used that. And then I called for some cayenne and some paprika and I always add garlic in everything I make. And then a can of coconut milk and then some um, cornstarch, you could use flour to help thicken it in like a cup of the broth as well. So this recipe is one of my favorites. It also calls for um, white beans and I did not have canned white beans. You sure can go buy canned white beans. I used dry beans and I used my Instant Pot to cook up those beans so that I had those ready. And the Instant Pot cooks beans like 20 to 30 minutes. So um, it just saves money too to have dry beans and then cook them up real fast in Instant Pot so well. Then you put about two cups of those in with your soup as well. And then I just let it simmer on low for 15, 30 minutes just to get the flavor. And it was so delicious. My whole family loves it. I've had this recipe for several years. Then serve it with just some chips, salsa, and some veggies. All right, today two, we used that same leftover whole chicken and I made a chicken ramen stir fry. Now, ramen is not healthy if you use the packets that are in with it, but with this ramen recipe, I always dump out the seasoning packet and just use ramen. So of course you could just buy ramen noodles. You could use rice. Um, you wouldn't have to use the ramen. You could just have the veggie chicken stir fry or just a veggie stir fry. But with this recipe, I had the chicken, of course, so that was easy, and I had some cauliflower I put in there that I needed to use. It really just called for broccoli, but I wanted some extra color, so I had some peas in there. I had some cabbage I wanted to use, and then I threw in um, some canned carrots because that was fast, and I wanted some of that orange color, and then some water chestnuts, and the chicken, and garlic, and onion, of course and the season, the sauce that goes over it, some soy sauce, and I use liquid aminos, which is a really low sodium um, natural soy sauce, and then some more chicken broth, so that was handy to have that chicken broth on hand, the garlic, um, and then a little cornstarch to thicken it too, I believe. So that was a really super simple, convenient meal, again, to have served up in less than 30 minutes and what kid what adult doesn't love ramen noodles right <laughs> okay night three was roasted bologna and veggies and this is i used the oven for this one and uh, we have deer bologna that my husband shot and then we had to get to a meat locker a couple years ago and i had some bologna still to use you could totally buy some sausage and use sausage 
you could probably put any meat you really wanted in there like beef chunks or whatever you want but i love the taste of that deer bologna deer sausage in there and then it had half an onion a whole red pepper again i used some of that cabbage i still had and then i seasoned it or drizzled olive oil over it seasoned it with salt and pepper and garlic and roasted it at 400 for about 30 minutes and voila it was done so super simple fast meal and that one i you could serve with a side of avocado a side salad but we just had the avocado all right night four was an instant pot meatloaf with a sweet potato mash now this recipe originally comes from six sisters and they have a lot of instant pot recipes but i changed it up a little bit and did sweet potato instead of regular mashed potato and on this day we were having some power surges they asked us to conserve power so instead of turning my oven on i used the instant pot and actually for the next two days we did that because it's been so cold um, a lot of you probably know this already that we just had been needing to conserve energy so no lights on we had candlelit dinner but with this instant pot recipe, it's just so easy. I had a pound of ground beef and we get a quarter cow. So I already had the ground beef in our freezer. And then I put like a couple oats in it. Then it calls for Worcestershire sauce. You could omit that if you want to reduce the sodium. Um, it calls for salt, pepper. I put garlic in it, half an onion. It calls for some ketchup and then a little bit of tomato soup and if you have your own tomato soup if you don't have the canned that's wonderful too or if you wanted to put fresh tomatoes you probably could do that and then you just blend it together an egg and put that in your instant pot now you could put it in an instant pot safe dish like a pyrex bowl um, some instant pot um, things you can buy to get actual pots that belong with the instant pot you can put in there but you also have to put your potatoes underneath first so i put my sweet potatoes underneath with like a cup of water and i realized with sweet potatoes they're a lot more liquidy um, than a regular potato so i really should have reduced the amount of water in the bottom and then i put my rack and then i just made a little bowl out of aluminum foil and i put my meatloaf in there and then put the sauce on the top and i cooked that up in 30 minutes so it was a really fast meal and then had a side salad with the instant pot meatloaf sweet potatoes and a side salad day five was our breakfast night so we had slow cooker egg casserole and an instant pot berry baked oatmeal again didn't want to turn my oven on because usually i would do these casseroles in the oven and so i found a recipe and then i kind of tweaked it to my own liking so i'll link that recipe those two recipes below but to share with you kind of what i did so with the egg casserole i had eight eggs about a cup of milk um, i already had pre-cooked veggies like peppers onions mushrooms in the freezer so i just thawed those and put some of those in there and then i used sourdough bread and put some sourdough bread in with it and i layered that in the crock pot with some cheddar cheese and mozzarella or not mozzarella pepper jack cheese you could use any cheese you want i think the recipe actually called for feta and ricotta but I didn't have either of those. So really I just tweaked it to what I liked and then put spinach in, dumped the whole egg mixture and let it cook for about eight hours. And that was really convenient because it took only 15 minutes to prep and then let it cook in my slow cooker. And then with the baked oatmeal, this turned out so well. And I learned a trick this night. You can use your Pyrex bowls in the Instant Pot if you use your little grate in there. So of course you have to put up some water in the bottom first and then your food in the bowl in the Instant Pot, which was so easy and so wonderful. So it's like a cup of and a half of oats. I had I called for applesauce, but I didn't have any applesauce. So I mashed up two bananas, which made it a little sweeter as well. And I called for blueberries, but I used strawberries. So you know, you just substitute things that you have. You could probably use peaches or something of that sort if it's that season. Um, and then, of course, cinnamon and egg. 
and just some salt, good spices, a little baking powder, and you mix all that together, dump it in that bowl, put it in the instant pot, and that cooked for 25 minutes. So that was really convenient. Serve it with some maple syrup over the top, milk if you like it that way. With the egg bake, we served it with some salsa and some avocado and just super easy meals that you don't have to worry about for the rest of the day when you get them put in there. And the last day is a slow cooker beef stew. It's actually cooking behind me right now. So this recipe I got from our oily house, but it's really a traditional beef stew recipe, but I used a beef steak flank that we had and I just cut it up into chunks then of course cut up celery onion garlic carrots you could put mushrooms in it if you wish i then added some frozen tomatoes from the garden that i had this summer and it had froze added some beef broth that again i had myself of course if you need to buy it that's fine if you want water it would reduce the flavor so then you definitely need to season it a little more then salt pepper rosemary thyme and i had a little italian seasoning and it's cooking. So we'll see how that one turns out. I'm excited to try it. It smells delicious. So, and I'll serve that with a Greek yogurt biscuit that I made before. So there was six meals for you this time, all really pretty convenient, quick meals, just a little chopping, just a little prep, but they are so good, so fast, and I love sharing these with you because this is just how we eat. This is our fast food in 30 minutes because we don't eat out very much. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can use some of these recipes in your own food bank repertoire. Anyways, have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in my next video.